Well, hello there. This is Diamonds from Diamond Shine. So, guys, I'm so excited to see you today. Can you guys share in my joy? I know you can. Before we get into the wonderful creation that we're going to make today, let me tell you guys something before you hit the fast forward button. Hit the like, subscribe, share, do what you got to do. Let them know we're all here, okay? But listen, during the week, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with candle makers just like you. You could just be starting out. You could be advanced. It does not matter where you are in the candle making industry. Those one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions are cut out, tailor-made, specifically designed to help you advance your craft and to go further in the industry without spending so much money, okay? It could be as easy as you just going booking that session in the, in the description box, the link in the description box, and saving thousands of dollars. A lot of people feel like, okay, well, you know, I'm not going to pay for coaching. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do that. And they end up spending so much money because they don't know what wigs to use, what wax to use, what fragrance to use, what this don't work with that, this don't work with that, this don't work with that, this one. So just save yourself some time and some money and look inside the description box. Not only that, we have so many live classes. We have the live dessert class coming up. That's next month around, uh, what is it, August the 6th. Then we have one um, coming up on, uh, I believe, like the 13th. If you look in the description box, all the dates and everything is linked inside my website. Um, that's going to be the pie course. We have some soy classes that we do. Um, this, this particular video, guys, I'm excited to come back and do a dessert candle. I haven't done a dessert candle in a very long time but we're doing a dessert class as well so you want to definitely get in there um you can watch me do a tutorial all day long but you need to know what kind of wick you need to know what kind of wax you need to know how much fragrance to put in it you need to know how to do all these kind of things so i make these classes very affordable so you can come and learn and not only learn you can go ahead and be prosperous and successful inside your business okay so without further ado let's talk about this wonderful creation that we're about to do today all right, so listen, I ordered off of Candle Science some mason jars, and I was just like, oh my God, why did I do that? What happened was I got the word from my dear, lovely, lovely, lovely love that I could just go to Family Dollar or I could go to Walmart and buy them. And I'm like, uh, duh, okay. So I ended up going to Walmart after I ordered them and I was just so mad. Like, oh my God, why did I pay shipping? Why did I do all of that? It was just a, a trial and error, okay. So these are about eight ounces and they hold about, um, well, you know, guys, you, you just look at the capacity of them. But they're the eight ounce jars. They're smooth. They don't have like the diamond cuts in them. Try to get these ones okay let me show you guys what they look like try to get these ones because the diamond cuts will kind of hide your creativity and what we're doing is we're making little small candles um the opening you know it's not really a large opening i'm going to take something to compare it with or whatever okay so it's pro the same opening that it is on the mini mason jars the four ounce it's the same um same width or whatever so they're easy to wick um if you look in the description box it will have the whole recipe uh everything is linked there guys if you want to make these candles but for, for right now we're about to go in here we're about to have some fun uh we're going to do the base i'm going to be doing a banana pudding um i'm gonna do a pineapple cheesecake guys i don't even know i'm gonna do a birthday one like it don't even matter we're just gonna go in here to have some fun let's come come on and ride with me and let's get right into it okay yes ah! so this is the jar of course i just showed you but this is the jars uh top that it come with you know it's a cannon so of course it got two pieces you don't have to use that top i'm not going to be using that top because i'm going to pipe a little bit up so you know if you use the top you gonna smash it and i'm gonna be using some shrink wrap instead of the top okay all right and i'm gonna be making my label go down this way instead of like going around the jar because i don't like for my art to be hidden that's just me um you could do it how you want to it could probably fit uh like a two by four on here if you wanted to do it that way um that's just not my favorite thing to do um, we're gonna be making a banana cream pie one now these embeds as you can see, here's my little banana slices, and um, here's my cookies. I made them myself. I will link those in the description box as well because I made a whole lot of them, and I packaged them up or whatever because I was like, you know, I'm having some classes coming up, so I just made them for my classes. Um, they smell really good. So if you go in the description box, the link, you'll get those embeds if you want them, okay? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I want you to get a regular heat gun, a high temperature heat gun, or just a little cheap one. You, I think I got this from Dollar Tree. And I want you to go ahead and 
um, grab your wick. Now, we are doing a dessert candle class. That's linked in the description box. I give you the wick sizes and stuff like that and those kind of classes. Um, on here, I really don't provide the wick size. Um, but if you go in the description box, um, I will link it in there. Um, it's called like a cheat sheet, okay? All right. So let's grab our wicks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the base. Uh, we're going to do the base like a light yellow. We're not going to do a dark yellow. We're going to do like a light yellow for the base. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and pour this into the jar and I'm going to let this solidify. And then after it solidify, we're going to go ahead and pipe the top. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the fun part and that is the piping, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull this camera in just a little bit closer so you guys can see. Alright, lights, camera, action. Alright, alright. So you, as you can see, I just went around in a circle just to test it out just to make sure that it was running smoothly with no clumps and lumps, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do like a twist in motion. Okay, I'm going to wrap this around like that, and, okay, and it's nice and smooth as I like it. Now, I'm not going to overdo it. I'm not going to add, like, too, too much, okay, because I want to add, like, a little embed or something to the top. Okay, and since I have this yellow, like this on the bottom, I'm not going to overdo it. I'm going to just add just a wafer, okay? I'm going to add a wafer or two. Okay, because sometimes you can add too much. You Too much is too much, okay? So we're just going to do that. Just a simple look right here. And if you want to add a banana to yours, of course you can. Um, you can go on my website and you can get the banana and the wafer combo together. Okay, so you can use that for your candles. Okay, so we're just going to center the wicks and leave it just like this. Okay, and the next one we're going to do like a vanilla um, cake flavor. I mean, um, fragrance or whatever. So. Now